Jay does a great job, no doubt, but I am personally leaning towards Tim. Both these guys really killed it. Tim really makes some smart choices on how to do that dark fur. My decision is Tim. What? TJ. I'm going with Tim. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tim. Yeah, I'm very shocked. Like... Would you like to explain to us why we're wrong? No. <laughs> For the next elimination tattoo, you'll be creating a portrait on your human campus. Man, I can't believe we're doing portraits. I did not see portrait coming. Portraits are very personal tattoos. They allow no room for mistakes. Oh, Lord. I do portraits, but I don't like to do them. It's going to depend on the picture. The picture is everything when it comes to this. And if you got a bad picture, it's not going to be a good portrait. Portraits require an amazing depth of detail. Your shading and blending skills must be top notch. There's a very limited number of tattooers that can actually pull portraits off. Some tattooers see things in a portrait that they accentuate that makes the portrait come to life on the skin. Not all tattooers have that magic. It's a fact. The photo I got is very grainy and it's from 1978. It has a lot of contrast in it though. There's a lot of stuff I can work with. I'm totally stressed with time on this one because a portrait is so demanding because of the detail put into it in the smooth blends. It can't be that big because we're in a time restraint here, but we'll do it as big as possible. And on top of it, we were handed that we have to do lettering. I'll do this in like a, a nice script for you. That's cool. I'll use some sort of design work with the script to sort of blend into him and... Your discretion. It's going to be hard to fit it in there. Hello, Mr. Jack Rudy. I'm having a little difficulty because there is a lot of contrast, but the shading's very dark. There's not much of a grayscale to it. So I am a little concerned with what the judges are to say. Pressure's on me right now. That's right, no pressure. He's a nice. We just get right too. in here real, oh, sorry. The most important part of a portrait to me is the accuracy of it. It's really being able to capture that person, their expression, the look. You've really, really got to be careful because one false move and it just doesn't really look like that person. Welcome to tonight's elimination. This week, we've been testing your portrait skills. We'll be looking at your shading, detail, and how much your tattoo looks like the picture. Tommy. What are your thoughts? I dug it. You know, I was into the piece. A little bit of a dark picture to work with, like a little grainy, but I did what I could with it. With a photo like this, being grainy and whatnot, and being from the era that it was, this style that you tattooed it is perfect. As far as the likeness to the photo, it's dead on, man. You got the detail in there just right. And I love the fact that you weren't scared to go with black and put the heavy shading in there. This wasn't an instance where you needed super soft, delicate. It's an army time war photo. It's got a vintage feel to it. The details and the buckles and all the highlights and everything, that's the best part of this tat, man. Technically, it's a really nice tattoo, man, and it took, it took balls to make it real dark. Thank you so much, gentlemen. All right, guys. In this group of four, there's a top two and there's a bottom two. Shane, you had the best tattoo of the night. Thank you. Tommy, you also did some very impressive work. You guys have earned a spot in the finale. Yeah, Tommy. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. You'll be tattooing a subject that is intimidating for even the best tattoo artists, portraits. As equipment and techniques have advanced, it has become possible for skilled artists to create tattoos that are more realistic than ever. Whether of celebrities, children, or deceased loved ones, portraits are as personal as one can get. You will have six hours to tattoo a portrait. Let's meet your canvases. And who's this? It's my father. A great tattoo begins with a great reference. The tattoo I absolutely do not want is the smallest picture. It looked like the guy's face that was like this small. Canvases, one by one, please reveal the name on the bottom of your skull. Baby. Of course, I end up with the canvas that I least wanted. We only have six hours, and sure. assuming from this picture, I know that you want at least the hands, right? I saw the fighter position, so I knew that he wasn't only gonna want the face, he was gonna want to throw those gloves in there. I definitely want the hands. I would like to try to get the symbols in there also. It takes like six hours just to do the face alone. I'm worrying incorporating so many things into my tattoo when I only have six hours. This symbol is gonna be the killer. It's gonna be complicated. My canvas really wants those hands in the portrait and he wants the logos. 
So I tell him I would do it smaller so I can get the symbols that he wanted. I'm gonna show precision from copying exactly what's on this picture. May the best portrait artist win. This week, we asked you to create a portrait tattoo. We're testing precision. Tattoo baby, you're up first. How are you feeling about your work here? Do you feel like you're in the top? I feel I did a great tattoo for the reference that I had. You did an amazing job capturing this guy's character. The very precise little details, the way you got the mustache and the little curls in the hair, right on. Doing small faces like that are always tricky. It's really hard to capture a likeness the smaller the face is. This tattoo came out great. The way that you captured the skin tone of his dad, you used a lot of light in the face to really accent his features. This was the right way to do it. Another consistent outing for you. It's a good job. And it was a tough one. This week, we're testing precision. Precision is making sure all the little details in your design are exact and perfect. Today, you must tattoo the ultimate test of precision. A portrait. Oh, a portrait is one of the easiest tattoos to screw up. One drop of ink in the wrong place will make your portrait unrecognizable. If you alter the appearance of somebody's face in a tattoo, you just made it into somebody else. Today, once again, the canvases are in pairs. Every canvas wants the same portrait as one other canvas. Wow. Giving a side-by-side -side comparison like never before. What? Go big or go home. That means you'll all be going head to head with one other artist. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Can't lose. There is one more thing. Your canvases have brought the subject of their portrait along with them. That's This is crazy. Let's meet your canvases. Canvases, please reveal the portrait that the artist will be tattooing. Clean and Mark, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases. You're also determining which artists tattoo head to head. It's more important than ever to be smart about who you pit against one another. Ready? Let's do it. Mark doesn't do portraits, right? I've had a lot of ups and downs in this competition so far, so I'm gonna make sure that I get the coolest design I can, and I'm gonna take out a top dog and prove that I deserve to be here. That is a beautiful picture. Yeah. Where are you guys planning on putting this? On the side of my thigh. Nice. That's the ultimate spot right there. That's the one I want. Oh. Unfortunately, we don't get to choose. What are you gonna get? Okay. Canvases. One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Eric. Mark. Boom. No. People might think I'm crazy, but I'm taking the bull by the horns here. Eric's going down. Let's do this, man. Let's get this going. Today, these artists really have to show precision because they have to really showcase the subtle details that make that person come alive to their friends and family. I'm sweating bullets right now. Portraits are not my thing. I'm going up against Eric, and there's no margin for error. You chose to put yourself up with Eric. Why'd you make that choice? Figured it'd be a good push. It'd really be a really great challenge. My strategy on this portrait is to use all the precision I can in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth to make it look exactly like his mother. I'm not scared. I'm gonna make sure I go beyond to get this win. Smells looking good. If I beat Eric, the judges are definitely gonna have to take notice. My whole strategy right now is to go big or go home. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, a portrait. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Mark, let's start with you. You went up against Eric. Out of everything I've seen you do, This is the most precision I've seen you execute. Really nice details in the mouth. The really light shades and the little highlights that you did and the wrinkles of the lips really make the tattoo look beautiful. And this is a big comeback for you. Soak it in and keep trying to ride the wave. All right, guys, between Mark and Eric, who wins the head-to-head -head competition? Mark captured the likeness. It looks like her. The proportions are totally correct. Final answer. Mark. 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 Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Mark. Welcome back, Jesse. This week, you are calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? Today, we're going to do black and gray portraits. 
Why did you make that decision? I got eliminated season two for Black and Gray Portrait, and I just wanted to, you know, start off where I left off. I put a lot of effort and a lot of time into strengthening my weaknesses. Damn. He's been practicing like a mother Black and Gray Portraits? What the hell, Jesse? You're a new school artist. Why would you choose this? Picking portraits is a power move. I'm not here to mess around. I'm here to win this competition. Jesse, have a seat. What's up, guys? Guys, you heard him. You must tattoo a black and gray portrait. But that's not all. Your canvases all want tattoos of their personal political hero. What? Everyone knows what political figures look like. So if we make one mistake, your average person is going to know it. Let's meet your canvases. I'm getting our President Obama. OK, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Jesse. Welcome to the snake pit. I love Obama. Good luck. Without precision, there are certain styles of tattoos that artists will never be able to accomplish. You cannot do a portrait unless you can put the ink, put the shading exactly where it needs to be. All right, so you want this on your arm, right? Yes. So here's the thing. I think the uh, shoulder blade is, is going to be a lot flatter. Jesse Smith comes back swinging, calls out black and gray portraits. I love it. This one. Oh, you need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. The one Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I felt it necessary to prove to you guys that I could do a legitimate portrait. You took a very soft, out-of-focus approach to this tattoo, and it came out great. It has a lot of contrast. You kept the features of the face correct. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yep. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm going to be pissed. We're seeing the job, baby. We're seeing the job. A facial feature even a millimeter off could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Of course. That's crazy. The key with this, I think, is communication. Get a game plan in your mind. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? You guys got your work cut out for you. Let's meet your canvases. What are you wanting to get tattooed? Tattoo of my daughter, okay. black and gray. I didn't see that. The photo is this big. There's no way to do a precision portrait on something the size of a dime. I do not want this tattoo, please. OK, canvases, one by one, please read the name on the bottom of your skull. I can't see the detail. That picture is this big. Golden skull tattoo. Is that a ponytail, or is that like yeah, a ribbon a, or something? Yeah, okay. no, it's a ponytail. Okay. Black Cobra definitely screwed us. They gave us the little tiny picture. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's so hard to blow a little tiny photo up to get a good quality portrait. It's all there. It's just grainy. I'm kind of nervous right now, because Aaron got kicked out on portrait day. And you know what? I was in the bottom last time I did one. But I'm not ready to go home yet. We just got here. They totally shot our foot right now. They gave us the worst picture ever. Up. Thanks for the mini pick. Over here trying to give us the bad skull, and then we, uh, what's up? Step to the stage, homie. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it worked. Because I got the skills to pay the bills, yeah. man. You know what? We're just going to have to bite the bullet, and I'm about to pull out every trick I got in my bag to take this little tiny photo and make a great portrait. Today, you had to tattoo the ultimate test of precision, matching portraits. Clean and Aaron, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Golden Skull Tattoo, you're up first. Clean, did you practice before you came? Yes. I definitely want to tip my hat to you, man. You did a great portrait here. The eyes and the mouth, you hit them perfectly, especially that little turned up corner of the lip on the right side is what really captures her look. Aaron, I like the way you did the black in the hair. Your hair maybe is a little bit better than Clean's, but as far as the application on the face and everything, Clean might have made it a little more smooth. Y'all did a great job taking the exact same approach on the tattoo. I mean, you really try to mimic each other's stencil to the T. There's a lot of precision in this tattoo. 
Judges, time to announce who had the best tattoos of the day. I think that Golden Skull did really great. Yep. For me, I think it's Empire State. Both look like the man, both look like the same tattoo. Can't get past the top of the hair on Marvin's tattoo. I'm leaning towards Golden Skull, but I think they're both I'm badass Golden Skull. tattoos. That's your call. Final decision? Golden Skull. I'm gonna have to say Golden Skull. My decision is Golden Skull. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to uh, Golden Skull. I didn't see that coming. Today, you must tattoo a portrait <sighs> of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. This isn't just make a lion look like a lion, it's make the lion look like this lion. So it is a portrait challenge, it is precision. We will be pairing side by side the photo against your tattoo. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. I want to be able to feel these things in my mind. I want to know that there's feathers, or there's fur, or there's scales, or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's got to be obvious to the look. Let's meet your canvases. Where do you want the panda at? On the inside of my arm. At the end of the day, that panda's pretty good. Canvases one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Tim. Good luck. What do you think? Don't zoom in. If you're tattooing it this big, mm -hmm. you should be looking at a picture this big. Because you're gonna zoom in to the point where, where you're spending way too much time and you're gonna overcomplicate it. When you're looking at it, look at it the size you're tattooing it. It's gonna go faster, it's gonna actually look better and be more accurate. I'm a realism guy, it's what I specialize in, but I'm super worried about my team. Amanda and Tim haven't done this a lot. Making it this far in a competition like this is tough. Anything can happen in these final tattoos. If you're not at your best every day, that could be your last. I'm super nervous about this tattoo because it's realism, and you just have to be more concerned with being exact than just creating. Looks great, but are you feeling on time? All right, a little pressed, but... Because you've got to make that match that quality now? Yeah. That's a good simple part to hold on to the face. Cool. This thing is taking forever. And I have the smallest tattoo. Tim better get done, or he's in big trouble. He's so slow. It was painful watching a goddamn stencil. He, he peels them off just as slow as he tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Team Christian, you're up first. Tim. It's gone. Smallest tattoo of the day, but man, you hit it right on the head. That dark black fur texture like that is really hard to pull off. You've got a lot of different tones in this tattoo. Solid black, a little bit lighter, all the way down to your softest grays. The details are amazing. Precision was key in this. You show a side of you that's probably really scary for the back line. This is what we're looking for here, someone who can do everything. Appreciate it, guys. Oh. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, a runaway train is TJ. The pits of the nose, the pits of the eyes, the wrinkles, you can touch and feel that tattoo. TJ does a great job, no doubt, but I am personally leaning towards Tim. Both these guys really killed it. Tim really makes some smart choices on how to do that dark fur. I mean, he went above me on. My decision is Tim. What? TJ. I'm going with Tim. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tim. Yeah, I'm very shocked. Like... Would you like to explain to us why we're wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Today, you must tattoo. Here it is, guys. A portrait. No. It's about time. Yeah. Finally, this is my time to shine. Of a senior citizen. What? Ooh. Leatherface. That's so much little detail. Senior citizen portraits are difficult because you want to capture the likeness of that person, but you don't want to overdo their wrinkles because you'll make their entire face look leathery and scary. Well, it's coming okay. eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Portrait day. Let's meet your canvases. So what are you wanting to get today? Black and gray portrait of my grandfather on my left calf. That photo is difficult. This one by far is the hardest one to do. It's the smallest photo, and from back here, I can't even tell what's going on. 
canvases one by one. Please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. That was small. I can't tell from here if there's any definition in it. Jimmy. What's that? He's gonna struggle with that. Did Jarrell just take a shot at me? What the f man? Good luck. Doing portraits of senior citizens is tough. There is obviously age on skin. Skin does different things when age occurs. If you do everything HD, there's no way this portrait's gonna look good. You have to know how to soften some things. Capture what it is that makes that person that person. I just gotta make sure when I blow this thing up that I don't lose a lot of detail because this is a tiny, tiny photo. I'm beyond frustrated right now because I thought Jarrell would definitely have my back. Such a shitty photo. Tiny. I can't even make out that that's even hair. I can't tell where the eyes are. The hair is pretty much the same tone as most of the skin. Just pay attention to the shapes. I know, I've done portraits, man, but you know that it's all about the reference. This is easily the hardest reference to work with in the room. I think you me. I, uh, I don't understand what he did with these pics. It's obvious what he did with these pics. He tried to help out the West. Can lay down and get comfy? This is a very tricky challenge because there's a lot of detail in these photos, but if you put every single little wrinkle line in these tattoos, it's gonna be scary. It's not gonna look right. You have to know where to be precise. You have to know what details to highlight, what details to let be subtle. I think that's the ticket. Because you don't wanna make them look older than they are. You don't wanna make them look younger than they are. These are hard portraits to do. Ready to rock? Yes. I'm ready. One hour remaining. <sighs> Everyone's been saying I'm a one-trick pony, and I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Oh, my god. I feel like Jarrell's taken that away from me by giving me the hardest one in the room. I'll give you a minute, OK? OK. This trick will not sit still. She won't? When I get done, I'll come over there and hang out. I'm up against so many odds that I don't know if I can make it past. <sighs> oh. Sorry. I'm just trying to do a good portrait, not just a finished portrait. I know? appreciate it. I'm going as easy as I possibly can on her, but I don't know if she's going to sit through this thing. You got 30 minutes, OK? Oh. Just please let me finish it. Word, dude. Jimmy's canvas is all over the place. The best thing I can do to make sure that he can finish his tattoo is just talk to her. There's still strength in numbers. You got a portrait of? Oh, my granddad. Your granddad? He's a World War II vet. Oh, yeah? You're earning this one. You're almost Done. Oh. Finished. <laughs> I feel like I just gave birth. I feel like I just gave birth. <laughs> Today, you had to tattoo portraits of senior citizens. And you were being tested on precision. Jimmy. If you look at your tattoo, you're like, man, that nose looks crazy. But then you look at the photo, and you're like, that's the shape of the nose. If you look detail for detail, you hit the details in this character. And I like the look of the gray shading you get in his face. For a guy that doesn't do portraits, you did good. 